given the area of triangle PQR with vertices P phi comma 4 and Q minus 2 comma 4 and R A comma B with 35 square units and if it's ortho center and centroid is given 2 comma 14 by 5 and C comma D respectively then we need to find C plus 2D. Since ortho center is given we know that ortho center is the point of concurrence of the altitudes. So here we can say PM is perpendicular to QR and also QN is perpendicular to PR. So let us find the slope of PO. Slope of OP is equal to, we know the formula for slope y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So here we can write 14 upon 5 minus 4 divided by 2 minus 5. So we can write 14 minus 20 that is minus 6 divided by 5 divided by minus 3 or we can write 6 upon 5 into 1 upon 3 which is equal to 2 by 5. So slope of OP is 2 by 5. So we can also say slope of PM is 2 by 5. And next a slope of OQ. Slope of OQ is equal to 14 upon 5 minus 4 divided by 2 minus of minus 2. So which is equal to minus 6 by 5 divided by 4. That is minus 6 by 5 into 1 by 4. That is minus 3 by 10. Slope of OQ is equal to minus 3 by 10. So which also implies here. Slope of QN is equal to minus 3 by 10. And we know the relation when the two lines are perpendicular M1 M2 is equal to minus 1. So we can say slope of QR is equal to a slope of QR into slope of PM is equal to minus 1. So slope of QR is equal to minus 1 by slope of PM. That is slope of PM is nothing but slope of PO that is 2 by 5. So we can take minus 5 by 2. Similarly, slope of the line segment QN into slope of the line PR which is equal to minus 1. So slope of QN is minus 3 by 10 into slope of PR minus 1. So we can write slope of PR is equal to minus 1 divided by minus 3 by 10 that is 10 upon 3. Since we know the slope of QR you can find the equation of the line passing through the point Q 2 comma minus 4. So by using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So we can find the equations of the lines qr and pr. Now let's find the equation of qr. So we can write y minus y1 is equal to the slope of qr is minus 5 by 2 into x minus of minus 2 that is x plus 2. So simplifying we can write 2y minus 8 is equal to negative 5x negative 10. So which implies that 5x minus 2y and minus 10 plus 8 is minus 2 is equal to 0. So 5x plus 2y plus 2 is equal to 0. So it's an equation 1. And now the equation of the line PR 
we can say y minus y1 is equal to the slope of the line is 10 by 3 into x minus 5 so which implies 3y minus 12 is equal to 10x minus 50 that is 10x minus 3y and here minus 50 plus 18 plus 12, plus 12 which comes minus 38 the second equation so solving 1 and 2 so we can say So we can write x upon, so here minus 76 plus 6 which is equal to y upon, so 20 and again here plus 190 which is equal to 1 upon minus 15 minus 20. So x is equal to minus 70 divided by which is equal to minus 1 by 35. So minus 35 which is equal to 2. Similarly y is equal to so 190 plus 20 is 210. 210 divided by minus 35 which is equal to we will get 6 minus 6. So therefore we got the point R A comma B is equal to 2 comma minus 6. And now the centroid. Centroid is x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So here the 3 vertices, so you can take pi plus of minus 2 plus a value is 2 divided by 3, and here 4 plus 4 minus 6 divided by 3. So we have 5 by 3. 8 minus 6 2 by 3 and which is given as c comma d so we can write so therefore c is equal to 5 by 3 d is equal to 2 by 3 and we need to find c plus 2 times of d that is 5 by 3 plus 2 times of 2 by 3 which is equal to 5 upon 3 plus 4 by 3 which is 9 upon 3 which is equal to 3 so 3 is the answer which is our option